Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Welcome to my post-market wrap-up <laughs> on this day. I, I don't even know how to, you know, I don't want to say lovely here. Although maybe it was kind of lovely. I have a lot of stuff I want to talk about crazy this day. What's going on here? So let's start off with the date. Again, it is uh, Tuesday, November 27th, 2018. So what a day uh, in this market. Um, 345 point swing uh, in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. At one point, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down about 225 points. Well, we made all of that up and finished higher by about 110 points. Is my math off? Maybe a little bit, but a pretty big swing there uh, with regard to this market. I want to talk a little bit about that too in just a second. Um, bond market getting bought up and then dumped, finished flat uh, by the end of the day. Okay, it's just crazy. U.S. dollar did put on some strength. Uh, the uh, paper derivatives, which do not exist, there's no such thing as paper gold or paper silver, did finish down on the day. I can't believe I even talk about this stuff. How, how does anyone talk about this? It's not real. Uh, but we talk about it as if it is, just like the rest of this fantasy land market uh, that we are in. And I want to cover a little bit about Bitcoin because something is starting to get to me a little bit, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that too. So let's start off with this market real quick. Look, all of you know or should be very aware that I hate, hate, and I'll say it one more time, hate hearing when people are losing money in this market. Okay. And every day, without fail, I hear from fellow traders like myself who uh, are getting crushed uh, and they're just not listening to some basic advice. And I'm going to say it again here. Uh, I got a bunch of emails today from people who are trying to hit this market over the head. What, what do I mean by that? You know, trying to... Uh, make an unrealistic profit um, capitalizing on volatility. Everyone likes volatility, right? No. This is too much here. And if you're trying to take advantage of this market using a naked call or a naked put, you're going to get killed. You're going to get killed here. This is why I have been saying for, I can't even tell you how long. It's It's getting to the point of insanity I think um, stop doing that and learn credit spreads they're not hard you don't even have to buy a book if you don't want to there's so much information out here on uh, credit spreads just google it start doing it. you will get slow steady returns you're not gonna every one of your trades is not gonna be successful but honestly, you know all my trades because I've been putting them on my website for months and months and months and months. About three of every single credit spread I have opened up in, in that time has gone wrong for me. That should tell you something. So start doing this. You'll save yourself a lot of money, a lot of headaches, and a lot of grief. All right. I am sorry I'm talking about this again, but it keeps coming up. How about this that keeps coming up? And this is going to be the last time I will address it. Really, I'm being serious. So, Bitcoin, again. Email box. Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Me. Greg, should we buy Bitcoin now? Because it seems to be catching a bid. No! You buy it. I'm not buying it. Um, so stop asking me these questions. I do go through my email box and I write back to people. Henceforth, today... What's the date again? November 27, 2018. I will not write back to anyone. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be cruel or mean or anything, but I just don't know another way to say this. Uh, 
So I'm not going to answer any more questions with regard to Bitcoin. Okay? I don't have it. I'm not buying it right now. So, uh, and all of you understand my perspective. I, I can't value it anymore. Wall Street got their ugly hands on Bitcoin futures and that's it. I can't value this. It has entered the same realm as, as fakery uh, with regard to the, the paper market of gold and silver, which do not exist and are not on the elemental chart. Wow. Okay, so two very important things I wanted to cover here. Let's cover um, a couple of more things here. Let's talk about trade. Okay, a lot of this has a lot of talk here about trade and trade wars and what should be done and what, what should not be done here. So look, it, it should be pretty evident to all of you um, that at least at, up till now, the American people are not benefiting. Sit down and don't write anything stupid yet in the comment section, okay? <laughs> Seriously, because I know some of you are going to jump to conclusions before I finish. Up till now, what, what has this trade war done for the American people who really count to me because I don't give a damn about uh, the, the political class. I care about people around the world. You all know that. But I'm talking about right now the American people because we're in a trade war with China. Okay. How has this benefited up for now, right here today, the American people? Let's see. Well, the stock market is flat on the year uh, and... We're starting to pay more for things that are being imported. So, uh, hmm, let's see. Stocks are flat on the year. We're gonna we're paying more for things and are going to pay even more than that. So, how is this so far? Sit down, helping the American people. Because I know some of you are gonna say, "There's a bigger plan here, Greg." Oh, you got to sit back and you got to wait. Uh, let me explain something to you. The real reason why the trade war is not working and what we are losing as I just explained to you tell me or all of us how the American people have benefited thus far okay on the tr this trade war that's going on because we're not benefiting at all um, so it's just very simple here and we President Trump is kind of trying to treat the symptom and not the disease to fix the disease, and I wrote a little piece on this, I spread it everywhere, involves restructuring these trade agreements, not with just China. See, there's many of you who believe that these trade imbalances exist only with China, because that's all you're hearing about. Uh, but no, it goes way beyond that. But you, you wouldn't know about that if you were to hear rhetoric out of our president's mouth or anyone else. It's all about China right now. That should tell you something right there. But in order to fix these kinds of things, um, you don't again address the the symptom. You got to you got to fix the disease. How do you fix the disease? Well, you got to restructure these agreements via or going through the World Trade Organization. Uh, why aren't we hearing about that? You understand, people? Look, how many times have you heard me explain to you that nothing is what it seems? People see things and they say, oh yeah, that's what's really going on. That must be going on here. Oh yeah, because I'm hearing it from TV or from some politician. Oh, it's got to be true then. How about Larry Kudlow? Let's talk about Larry Kudlow, the other piece of work, who's, who, who's, who's a living comedy act. And I don't mean in a funny sense. I mean, the guy is like out there. He's out here today explaining how, keep this in mind about Larry Kudlow. While the housing bubble was bursting in 2008, he was saying, no, there is no housing bubble. There's nothing to worry about. This is the same guy who today is explaining how, um, you know, these issues with GM, uh, General Motors, and the other manufacturers, the slowdown in industry, uh, no, this is not going to affect our economy here in the United States. Uh, and these layoffs with regard to GM, oh, no, no, that's not going to affect our economy either. What about the workers themselves? You see how we the people are dog shit? How we don't matter at all? That's, that's really what's going on. Uh, Larry Kudlow, the guy should be banned from, from, from opening his mouth as far as I'm concerned, but that's a whole other thing. I don't know how many of you people feel the need to hug the guy or in love with him for whatever reason, but I think personally, and I'm going to say it is a piece of shit. That's the truth. A little bit of potty mouth here today. 
Um, so look, I just want to put a perspective on all these things here. We got to stop, stop treating symptoms. This is what we do in America today. We treat symptoms. We don't treat the disease, just like with our exploding debts uh, off the Richter scale, how we keep borrowing into oblivion, easy money poured into this market. It's these are band-aids. And the one with China so far, so far, sit down, people, or hasn't done anything, and they're not going to. Again, tariffs, we're treating a symptom. We're not treating the disease. <laughs> and again, it's not just China, all right? But you think it is. Most of you who are writing to me, telling me, China, oh, really? Uh, is China the only nation that, we, that exists with trade imbalances with the United States? Well, you might believe that if you were following any of the news outlets, but it's just not true. And again, we have to fix this whole thing across the spectrum. Our president is going about it the wrong way, and there's a lot of reasons for that as well. And as I explained, the American people thus far have not benefited at all from this, and they're not going to. Uh, we've got to stop with the freaking Band-Aids and address the bigger problems. Wouldn't you agree? All right, I think I covered a bunch of stuff here today that is very important. And let's see how this plays out tomorrow. Um, with regard to my own credit spreads, again, I added some new positions. I did post them to my website, traderschoice.net. If you're interested in seeing them, stop trying to hit this market over the head for the last time, seriously. You're going to get killed if you do that. All right. See you in the morning.